Recently, the Nike Dunk and SB Dunk Low have shot up in price from crazy demands, and now it's almost become impossible to get an affordable Nike Dunk Low. Retail is only 100 to 120 bucks, and we're seeing crazy collabs like these going for over a thousand dollars a piece. Even a simple white and red Nike Dunk Low like this is going for a lot of money. Like, bruh, I got these off a of sneakers app for a hundred bucks, and now they're going for almost six hundred and fifty dollars. Crazy, huh? If you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show. In today's video, we're gonna be going over 10 different Nike Dunk Low and SB Dunk Lows that are worth $250 and under. It's crazy to say it, but that's an affordable price these days. So hopefully this video will help you find some affordable dunks that you just might like, and that way you can at least get them before the price goes up. So I'm gonna be showing you guys five normal Dunk Lows and then five SB Dunk Lows. If you don't know the difference between the two, make sure you check out my other video. I'll have it linked for you guys down below, explaining the differences between a regular Dunk Low and a SB Dunk Low. And also, Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out what my favorite Nike Dunk Low is in my collection. Starting with the first shoe, we have the Champion Red Nike Dunk Low. These are hidden for just around 200 bucks, and I think they're a solid shoe. I can't say there's nothing super bad about the sneaker. I know a lot of people do prefer the St. John's version a little bit more, but this is essentially a flipped version with the red being white and the white being red, and now you have this version that recently came out. Do I think this shoe is gonna go up in value? Probably, simply because all the other ones are going up in value. So I don't see why this one couldn't easily be another $300 or $350 shoe down the line. Drop a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this sneaker. Are you waiting for the price to go down? Do you think they're gonna go up even more? Let me know how you feel about this shoe. Me personally, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I have seen them in person, but something's just not sticking with me, but it definitely is a solid shoe. And another thing to remember when we go over pricing when it comes to all of these shoes on the list, I'm a size 13. A size 13 is the highest price size when it comes to Nike Dunk Lows. I don't know what it is, but when it comes to SBs and all that stuff, typically a size 13 and a 14 is just gonna be astronomical compared to other ones. So you might see the same shoe, uh, 200, 300 bucks, and then in a size 13, it's like 400 or 500 bucks. So relative to my size, that's what the price is going to be. So if you see something on this list that's $250, it could potentially be 170 bucks for you and your size. So it's all gonna be relative to your size, but I wanted to make sure that you guys did have an understanding of that before we get into the next shoes because you might actually be able to get them for cheaper. And if you are a size 13 like me, drop a comment down below and let me know about your struggles because I feel you, bruh. They be taxing us with the big feet. Next up on the list, I'm actually gonna incorporate a couple other ones with this one because it's essentially a pack in my eyes but you have the undefeated five on it, Air Force One Black, and then the Canteen Nike Dunk Low. So as you can see from these three right here, when we go through the prices with the black pair, it's an all black shoe. I think you can't go wrong with it. I think it's definitely affordable right now, and I definitely wouldn't mind trying to add these to my collection as well. And low key, I'm looking for a pair. Next, you have the five on it undefeated Dunk Low. And as you can see right here, the colorway is kind of interesting, but at the same time, I have seen some people like it, some people don't. These things were going for a lot of money at one point and just slowly started to keep going down in value. Who's to say they might go back up or maybe even go lower? I don't even know. So if you are considering this shoe, I would say it's at a good price right now, and I feel like it's worth the cop. Another one that I think is undervalued is that Canteen Dunk Low. As you can see right here, they're going for an affordable price, and I think a lot of people that pick these up for their collection are definitely some happy campers. Drop a comment down below if you have this shoe. Next up on the list is going to be Smashing the like button because you know that helps the algorithm oh so much. Nah, but for real though, we have the Hyper Cobalt Nike Dunk Low. I was able to get these for retail on a restock at the local Nike store, and I was honestly really happy to get this shoe. I think it's a dope summertime, wintertime, any time of the year type sneaker, especially with it being a darker model with the black and the blue. And that's my old high school color, so you know what I'm saying? When I'm rocking my Letterman jacket or something like that, which I never really do. But either way, it's alma mater color, so you know what that means. I gotta pick them up. Next up, we have the Premium Cider nike dunk low and honestly these things look really fire i think just based off the photos alone i haven't seen these in person now so don't quote me but i feel like the materials and the quality on these is actually going to be really really solid and whoever ends up picking these up and adding them to their collection they're going to be very very happy these things are hovering for around 200 250 bucks and i think these are definitely going to be worth every single dollar and last up on the list for the regular nike dunk lows we have the black zebra dunk low from the animal pack I think this shoe, again, is very neutral, very dope, 
very simple, very clean. And I definitely think you're gonna be able to get your money's worth spending, you know, 200 or 250 bucks, be able to rock a dunk, wear it for a very long period of time, you know, many of years. I don't think they're gonna go out of style or anything like that. And I think you'll be able to get your money's worth. So that's why I put these on the list. And honestly, if I could have got these for retail, I would have picked them up. I don't see myself spending too much over retail for this sneaker. So I haven't decided to pull the trigger yet. But I do think if you could find these for a good deal, maybe even grab a used pair for a lower price, you're definitely gonna be happy about having these in your rotation. Now let's take it to the Nike SB Dunk Lows. First on the list is probably my least favorite of the ones on the list, but that's gonna be the ACG Nike Dunk Low. I think they're cool. I don't know, for some reason, it should, maybe it's the speckle on the midsole or the, the tone of the color on the upper. I don't know if it's the, I don't know. For some reason, they're just not fully resonating with me, but I have seen a lot of people say that they like this shoe. And again, that's the best part about this, right? You don't have to buy every single shoe because somebody else likes it. I want you guys to pick out the ones that you like from this list. You might like every single shoe from this list and you might not like any of the shoes from this list. And that's the best thing about sneakers. You're able to purchase what you like and hopefully I can help you find the things that you like. But either way, this shoe came out about six months ago and they're hovering for around 250 bucks and the only thing i can see for these things doing is going up in value simply because all the other nike sbs are going up in value so if you do want to pick up this shoe again i would say pick it up sooner than later because you might not have a chance later if this if you're watching this video six months from now and now the shoe's worth 320 dollars or whatever it may be who knows we'll find out six months from now next up we have the catalonia nike sb dunk low these things are hovering for around 200 bucks as you can see i'm showing you guys the size 12 because they're just worth a little bit more for a size 13. But I decided to put them on a list because they're a lot more affordable for everybody else. And honestly, I think this is a pretty dope colorway. You got two very neutral dominant colorways on the sneaker and the materials look pretty nice as well. And I definitely think these would be a nice addition to the collection. Let me know how you feel about these down below. Another Nike ISB Dunk Low that looks like it has some nice materials on it as well is going to be the Wheat Dark Purple SB Dunk Low. You're gonna see a dominant hit with the nice suede wheat material on the upper with the navy blue leather here on the the toe and the side and the back end of the shoe with the accent color of a red swoosh and red laces on the upper. I think these would definitely be a nice addition to the collection and can see a lot of people enjoying this shoe as well. Now next sneaker on the list is the biggest shoe on my hit list and I need to add these to my collection. They were actually even cheaper about six months ago. I was slacking because I thought they were going to go down in value and now they're starting to go back up in value. I need to go ahead and just pull the trigger and that is the Nike SB Dunk Low Bear Brick. These things are extremely fire. I had done a review with these before and I'm telling Telling you I still need to add these to my collection I don't know if it's something about the simplicity with the dope materials or the nice little accent hit on the back something about it I don't know I just like them. so don't be surprised if you see me adding those to my collection within the next six months now last on the list we have a shoe that I actually just recently picked up and I showed in my previous video and that is the classic green Nike SB dunk low these also give you those Celtic one vibes from the Air Jordan one and I think these things are extremely dope super clean I was able to pick them up for retail from my local SB shop on a restock and I was so happy because these things are going for around 200 250 bucks right now and i definitely see them going up in value over time so those were 12 different dunk lows and sbs i hope you are able to find something affordable that you can add to your collection as well let me know down below in the comment section which ones do you guys like out of these 10 and for those of you that stuck around until the end of the video it's time for me to show you guys my favorite dunk low that i recently added to my collection all right got the right box that's what i like to see that all green joint. Oh, baby. These are the shoes that we're going to be wearing for the wedding. I don't know if I should show you guys yet. Actually, I'm going to show you guys when I get to the venue. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you want to make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I gots to go. I'm gone. Peace.